It's an early one. I've got some bags under my eyes, but I am ready to go. I only have 3.2 miles to Thornton Gap. I'm getting picked up for a Nero, which is a nearly zero miles, but um, 3.2. It does not feel like nearly zero, but um, it'll be a nice rest um, day, and then tomorrow morning I'll be back on trail. So before I leave, I wanted to show you this really nice shelter I stayed at last evening. It's the Bird's Nest 3 uh, shelter. Beautiful sunrise over there. Um, this is the shelter. It's a nice stone um, building. Picnic table. There is a bear pole here. There's also a bear box, which is really nice, um, behind the shelter. Prefer the bear box for sure. There it is over behind the, um, I guess what used to be the old fire pit. There are some tent sites really uh, up on the hill there. You can't see there's one person tenting up there. Um, but one unique feature of this shelter that is really cool is this indoor fireplace. Um, we did not have it lit last evening. I got here late and had a bit of a debacle with um, getting water and dinner going in time. But it's a solid platform um, to sleep on. And the privy, as you saw, is over there. And in addition to a sunrise, you can also see the sunset. There's a beautiful view of the valley over here. So. Highly recommend this shelter. It was very comfortable and a lovely view in the evening and in the morning. It's 6.45 and I am headed down into uh, Thornton Gap to get picked up. Um, it's about 3.2 miles and I have to meet her at 9 o'clock. So I'm trying to hoof it here. I think it's a small up and then mostly a downhill. So I'm going to try to make it early and had a great night last night sleeping in the shelter it was my first time sleeping in the shelter during this trip <clears throat> there were two other hikers in there and it was very comfortable actually it was 38 degrees i was cozy in my down bag a quilt and tucked in snug as a bug and i slept pretty good um you know solid chunk of hours until i woke up at 4 30. <laughs> so uh I'll take it and I'm going to get some good rest today. So, looking forward to that. I made it huh. by the side of the road waiting for my shuttle. Uh, I hoofed that 3.2 miles um, in about an hour and a half. And um, it was mostly downhill, but still, you know, a little rocky and such. And uh, I'm pumped. I'm waiting. She should be here any minute. Hey everybody, ultra off the trail here. I made it to the Open Arms Hostel in Luray. Allison was amazing and picked me up at the side of the road. Um, I hoofed it down, like I said in my other video. Um, what a beautiful morning to hike. I think I'm an early morning hiker, unfortunately, and I am an early morning riser. I just have trouble getting my act together. So hopefully as I go forward, I can align those two things and really get out there and enjoy some of the mornings. It was amazing up coming down from Bird's Nest 3 at um, 7 a.m. Uh, the birds and just the sunrise. It was a beautiful day, but I am really happy to be here. I am in normal clothes. Um, I thought I would share for some friends that aren't familiar um, like with trail life. A hostel is not associated with the trail. They are independently owned homes. Um, they may be homes that the owners live in. They may be spare homes. They may be, they don't even need to be houses. Um, there are some hostels that are in barns on people's property, uh, sheds, uh, bunk houses, cabins, any way, shape or form. Think of it like an Airbnb that caters specifically, not just to through hikers, but anyone who may be in the area. I know here in Luray, they have a lot of um, cycling and just, you know, section hikers, whoever uh, wants to come through. So um, one of the amenities is uh, loaner clothes, uh, backpacking. You know, I'm not going to lug around an extra set of clothes that I'm going to use uh, once a week or so. Uh, so it is nice that while my laundry is being done, I can put on some uh, cozy fleece, leggings. Uh, most importantly, I have some uh, comfy slides on. I'll spare you the view of my feet. They're actually not that bad. Um, 
they're actually hiking has done no damage in the one week. Uh, I'm still recuperating from some ultra running uh, situations on my big toe, but I have no blisters, you know, everything, but they are just loving being in these nice cushy open air sandals for today. But I wanted to show you um, my bed in the hostel. So I think this may be the same bed that Jedi had last year. This is like the little nook. There are three beds total in the room. Um, as far as I know, I'm the only hiker here today. Uh, there is my pack right now um, before I do the pack explosion on the bed to sort laundry, things that need to be cleaned, my water bottles. Um, I have to patch my puffy coat, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, so those crumbs right there are because ultra violated rule number one of the hostel, which is keep your bedroom door shut when you go to the shower because there are three amazing hostel dogs here. Well, one visiting and two hostel dogs. And um, yeah, they get in the snack pouch of my um, backpack, not their fault, it was open, and um, they enjoyed a payday and some cheese crackers, so I am going to vacuum that up, and I did um, text Allison and told her about it, and uh, there's a big laundry bin there where you put your sheets in when you leave, so tomorrow morning before I go back on trail, I'll put those there, and uh, there's my, so far, pile of laundry that Allison will... Uh, do for me later. So she uh, will be taking me out later to go to Walmart for a resupply and anywhere else I may need to go, but I think I can get everything I need right at Walmart. So this is my nice cushy, the mattress is really comfortable and it's uh, cozy. I have two pillows, a blanket, there's extra blankets around. I have a fan if I want it. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting a good night's sleep and um, if I can get my chores done here, maybe a nap since I'm here so early, but um, I'll have to show some photos of my pack explosion later as I go through and take an inventory and get stuff cleaned and that sort of thing. So that's the open arms hostel uh, room that I will be enjoying tonight. Hey there, it's Ultra off the trail enjoying a Nero day at the Open Arms Hostel in Luray, Virginia. And I wanted to give a beer shout out to my beer supporter, Mary Beth. Mary Beth, I am enjoying a Devil's Backbone Heavenly Trip Juicy IPA. It's delicious and I'm about to take it down to the porch. It's lovely weather here and they have a big old front porch and I can put my feet up and enjoy this brew. So thank you for your support, Mary Beth. And for those wondering what I'm talking about, you can see the link down below for the buy me a beer along the trail. And I'll give you a shout out when I'm in town or sometimes on the trail and I can enjoy a delicious cold brew to keep me moving forward. So thanks for your support, Mary Beth, and thanks for watching.